Hey everybody, Nicholas at Jamsy Online here. We're gonna do shop vlog week three. Right here, I'm getting ready to get this 350 small block Chevy out of a Corvette up on the machine and we're gonna do machine work on it. Um, we're trying to keep the numbers because it's for a numbers matching vehicle. Um, so obviously that's important to the customer. getting ready to bore these we're going 30 over it's standard right now really not an insane amount of wear but the pistons that we want we can only get in 30 right now before we get too deep into this video i just wanted to give you guys a couple of reminders uh first don't forget to hit the subscribe button it really helps us out and we're well on our way to a hundred thousand subscribers and we've got a lot of fun things planned for 2021 second if you wouldn't mind check out the links in the description of this video um, to see more ways that you can support our small family-owned business. With that, I'm testing out some new cutting inserts and the one I used on this block leaves kind of a, it looks like a nice finish, but it's it feels all jagged and it's not very nice. I don't think our spindle RPM is high enough to use that. So we got a recommendation to try um, this particular insert. So we're gonna th see how that goes. All right, so basically I'm gonna cut down uh, I set the cutter to 20, even though we're going 30 over on this block because I want to test out the new cutter. So I set it to 20. I'm going to cut down and then I'm going to get the bore gauge out. I'm going to measure it, make sure that it's cutting like I think it should be. And then I'm going to go to my 30 after I'm confident that the new cutter is working like I think it is. All right, it definitely sounds better. Um, I'm running 500 RPM about on the cutters that I did on that block, if I wasn't, if I was any lower than like 600, it just sounded all chattery, but this one sounds a little more like I expect it to. I had my cutter set here right to 4020. Like I said, we're boring this to 4030. So um, normally, you know, if you were going to 20 thousandths oversize, you leave a few thousand so that you can finish it in the cylinder home. But in this case, since I'm just testing the cutter to see how it cuts, um, I went straight to 4020 and I'm using this Fowler $100 bore gauge um, that I made a video about a few days ago, just one of my shorts videos. Um, and I set it to right at 4020. And here's what we got. The surface finish looks pretty good. It feels nice and smooth. And I can't quite get my gauge perfectly right side up going from this side, but we're right on the money from the looks of it. I'm gonna get my cutter set to around 4026, and that way we have four thousandths left to hone. Pull number two. Bubba, hey, come here, bud. You wanna go outside, or do you wanna go inside? You wanna go inside? All right, all right, let's go. Just gonna do one more check on this side. That look good, so now I'm gonna roll the block over to the other side, and we'll bore the other side, and then we'll deck it. And we're starting with boring on this side simply because we already had the boring spindle in the machine and it's one last switch to you know change over um because if you know we change back over to the milling head then we'd have to come back and change over to the boring head and it just makes more sense to do it this way all right so i've got all eight holes bored now i'm just decking the other side um, I brought the cutter down and it cut at about a half above where this one's zeroed out at. 
So now I'm taking it to minus two on my first cut, and then I'm gonna do a minus one cut, or you know, one more thousandths after that to bring us to the minus three. That'll be to the same deck height as this side was. And the good news is after the first cut, everything cleaned up on this side. So it's not like we're gonna have to go back to the other side and cut it more to make it match. Um, with our 1000s finish cut, everything's gonna be clean and this block will be ready to move over into the cylinder home. So now I'm getting ready to recondition the connecting rods on this 302 Ford. So I already got this one cut and everything, but we're gonna cut the rods in the caps over here on the cap grinder. Tuesday morning. I'm gonna get back going. I'm gonna bore and deck this 340 Buick block. All right, now we're gonna get the Buick 340 up on the machine. So I've got the rings that, you know, fixture the block on the main journals. And these are the right size rings to perfectly fit for this block. Got the block fixtured up. You can see here kind of what the fixturing looks like and this fixture is better than some because when we're done, um, you know, everything is aligned off of the, uh, basically the, the main journal of the crankshaft, the axis of that main bore. And then we're at 45 degree to the pan rail, which means when we're done and we flipped it over to the other side, the deck is gonna be perfectly parallel with, um, with that main center line. And when we're done, this deck is going to be exactly 90 degrees to the opposite deck. I decided to take a one thou cut, just to see how we were. Um, the deck is pretty close, it seemed like, from the factory. Um, you know, I've talked before about how sometimes um, they'll be off a little bit from the factory, but in this case, I'm assuming it was pretty close. So our one thou cut should kind of show us that. All right. So here's that one thou cut. You can see it cleaned all the way across this edge, all the way across this edge. Got most of this edge. There's one little spot here that, you know, has a little bit of a low spot. And then this whole corner, it didn't clean. So, I mean, it cleaned a little bit there, but really this whole corner, it didn't quite clean up. So we're gonna take another couple thousandths and we'll make it nice and flat. There really wasn't a ton of wear in this block, but it was a few thousandths larger than we'd like it to be if, you know, we were just going to put 30 thousandths pistons back in it. Um, so our goal was to go to 40 thousandths pistons and kind of square up the cylinders to the crankshaft. And that's what our fixture does, like I showed. But what we ran into here is on the first two cylinders that I bored, hopefully this shows okay, you can see there's a little bit of a shadow left on the top two. And basically that's probably due to misalignment on the last time this was bored. The cylinders were not bored perfectly per perpendicular to the crankshaft center line the way our fixture does. And when I put my bore gauge on these spots that didn't clean up, they were around three thousandths from our finished bore size. So that's enough that when you run into this, when you hone it in the cylinder hone, 
it's still going to clean up because you still have three thousandths of material to take out there. So you're going to clean up and it's going to be fine. Then I got to this cylinder and again, we've got a little bit more shadow at the top here, which again, probably would have cleaned up. But what won't clean up is that giant shadow down in the bottom. When I put my bore gauge on that, where that area of the shadow is, when I put the bore gauge across there, we're already at the finished bore size, if not a half thousandths bigger, which means even without honing any material out, we're already too big. So with that being said, and again, this is caused because basically the cylinder, um, the last time it was bored, it wasn't bored perfectly perpendicular the way we're trying to get it. So with that being said, um, we have to go to the next oversize on the pistons, which is 60 thousandths oversize. So we got those ordered and they're on the way. And I got this bore, um, this cylinder bored to the 60 thousandths over, actually about you know, four thousandths shy of that because we'll be finishing it in the cylinder home. All right, now I've got both these two holes done. You can see we're clean there. I don't know how well this worked. Clean in the bottom. Didn't leave any shadow this time. making the final cut on the 340. All right, so at this point, this is the rough stone that I was using, and that's for kind of bulk material removal. And now I'm switching over to a finished stone. Um, it's a little finer grit, and that's gonna allow us to get these, you know, within the tolerance that we want. Um, leaves a little nicer finish. it up we've got this deck surface clean or actually we are at the same deck height as this one all right so I've double checked my gauge one more time again um, and I got all the rods finished out so you can see they look really nice and we came in were around three to four tenths bigger than the small side of the spec. So kind of right in the middle. Um, the zero on the gauge right here is the minimum spec and we could be anywhere from zero to eight tenths. So eight of the small marks, um, you know, above that number. So we're kind of right in the middle on these, nice and round. All right, so on the Buick, we're not gonna have our pistons in for another week or so. Um, so we're gonna wait to finish hone that until we have those in because we don't wanna hone it to size um, without the pistons. On the flip side, what we do have is we are gonna be able to hone the 350 small block Chevy. So I'm gonna get that in the cylinder hone and we'll kind of show you guys some of the process of doing that.
stop before you hurt yourself. You never heard of asking for help? Can you reach that any better? I'm not going to fall on my and break something like you will if you fall. How do you know? Because I'm you less fragile. You broke something. You have far more broken bones than I've ever had. So I have more experience with healing. Dad's over here cleaning this John Deere block and I guess he didn't feel like he had enough light. All right, so I've got the small block here. I've got one bank of cylinders finished. I only have one torque plate, so I'm doing the first half first and then I'll go over and finish the second half. And it's turning out really nice. Surfacing some N14 Cummins heads. Got the first one. Other two are still over there. Yeah. 